Hello, welcome to Speed, Time and Distance series of India EU tutorials. After discussing the basic concept of speed, time, distance, concepts related to boats, trains, etc., we are moving further to solve complex examples. Our first example is a boat takes 90 minutes less to travel 36 miles downstream than to travel the same distance upstream. If the speed of boat in still water is 10 miles per hour, find speed of stream. First of all, you need to check the uniformity in all the units. Here distance is given in 36 miles. Speed is given in miles per hour and time is given in minutes. So we need to convert this minutes time into hours. To convert this, simply divide 90 by 60 and you will get 3 by 2 hours. Now, let's say speed of downstream is denoted by SD, speed of upstream is denoted by SU, speed of boat is SB, speed of stream is SS, distance is D which is equal to 36 miles and time taken is T. Now, boat takes 90 minutes less to travel downstream as compared to upstream. So if we add 90 minutes to time of downstream, that is time of downstream says TD plus 90 minutes will be equal to time of upstream. Time of downstream would be equal to distance divided by speed of downstream that is SD plus 90 minutes or say 3 by 2 hours which is equal to time of upstream. This will be equal to distance upon speed of upstream. Distance is equal to 36 upon speed of downstream would be speed of boat plus speed of stream. Speed of boat plus speed of stream plus 3 by 2 which is equal to 36 divided by speed of upstream would be speed of boat minus speed of stream. Putting the values 36 upon speed of boat given is 10 meter 10 miles per hour that is 10 plus SS plus 3 by 2 equals to 36 upon 10 minus SS. 3 by 2 will be equal to 36 upon 10 minus SS minus 36 upon 10 plus SS. Taking 36 common, we get 1 upon 10 minus SS minus 1 upon 10 plus SS. This will be equal to 3 by 2. 3 into 12 gives 36. 1 by 2 will be equal to 12 into Taking LCM, 10 square minus SS square, 10 plus SS minus 10 minus SS. This will be equal to 1 by 2 equals to 12 into 10 plus SS minus 10 plus SS upon 100 minus SS square. Cancel 10 from 10. This will be equal to 1, 2 into 12 will give you 24 into 2 SS upon 100 minus SS square or say 100 minus SS square is equal to 24 into 2, 48 SS. Now we will solve this equation to find the value of SS. The equation is 100 minus S square is equal to 48 SS or S square minus plus 48 SS minus 100 is equal to 0. Now we need to expand this 48 such that one digit is in plus and the other is in minus and whose multiplication gives us 100 and whose addition or subtraction gives us 48 as the answer. Such two digits are 50 and 2. So we, will, we can write 48 as 50 SS 
minus 2 versus minus 100 equals to 0. Taking S as common, we get S as plus 50. Taking minus 2 common, we get S as plus 50 equals to 0. Then S as minus 2 into S as plus 50 will be equal to 0 or S as minus 2 equals to 0 comma S as plus 50 equals to 0. Value of S is equal to 2 and value of S is equal to minus 50. As we know speed cannot be negative, we will reject this value and we will take this that the speed of stream is equal to 2 or 2 miles per hour. Let's have another example. Next example is a man can row at 5 km per hour in still water. If velocity of current is 1 km per hour and it takes 1 hour to row to a place and come back, how far is the place? Let us suppose that speed of man is denoted by SM which is equal to 5. Speed of current is denoted by SC which is equal to 1. So speed of going or say speed of going along with current that is SG will be equal to speed of man plus speed of current which is 5 plus 1 equals to 6 km per hour. Similarly speed of coming back that is against the current will be equal to speed of man minus speed of current that is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 km per hour. No. We need to find out the distance that is D is equal to question mark. It is also given that it takes 1 hour to row to a place and come back. That is time of going plus time of coming is equal to 1 hour. Time of going will be equal to distance upon speed of going that is D upon speed of going. Similarly time of coming would be distance upon speed of coming which is equal to 1. Now D upon speed of going is 6 that is 6 plus D upon speed of coming is 4 equal to 1. Taking the LCM 6 into 4 get 24. 4D plus 6D is equal to 1 or say 4D plus 6D is equal to 24. 10D is equal to 24. So D is equal to 24 by 10 which is equal to 2.4 kilometer. For more tutorials tune in with indiaedu.com